Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You may be seated. And please welcome to the stage from the class of 2015, Milan Bradley and Yolanda Gutierrez. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Class of 2015 Commemorative Ceremony. Before we begin the program, I want to remind everyone today's event is a serious academic ceremony. So please let's honor our graduates and family by refraining from yelling or other inappropriate behavior. We also ask that you silence all cell phones. If you must take a call, please exit to the lobby. Also, please be aware that today's ceremony is being videotaped. So please exit to the lobby if your baby or young child becomes disruptive during a ceremony. Remember, you can watch us on the television screen in the lobby. Buenas tardes. Es para mí un placer darles la bienvenida a la clase de uh, graduados de 2015. Antes de comenzar el programa, quiero recordarle a todos que la ceremonia de hoy es una ceremonia seria académica, así que por favor de no gritar o de otros comportamientos inapropiados, así podremos honorar a nuestros graduados y sus familias. Si usted necesita tomar una llamada, le suplicamos que por favor apaguen los teléfonos y tomen la llamada fuera en el pasillo. Este evento será siendo grabada, así que por esta razón, si su bebé o niño pequeño empieza a llorar, favor de salir al pasillo donde nos puede ver en la pantalla en la sala. Ahora tengo el placer de presentar a mi compañero de clase, Christopher Carter, que nos llevará a la, al saludo de la bandera, acompañado por Sidney Ragland, que cantará el himno nacional. Now, I have the honor of introducing my classmate, Christopher Carter, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. He will be joined by Cindy Reglin of the San Francisco Conservatory of Music, who will sing the national anthem. Will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Please place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars throw the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. 
Yolanda, Chris, and Mr. Raglan. Oh, no. Weren't they fantastic? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Major Cruz, and I have the honor of representing and thanking the class. I'm sorry about that, guys. Oh, my God. I'm Major Cruz, and I have the honor of representing our class and thanking all the wonderful individuals who contributed to the success of Operation Graduation. As you might imagine, many people people contribute their time and resources to making this commencement ceremony possible. So we, the class of 2015, would like to take a moment to recognize these individuals and groups. First, a big thank you to the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, who provided financial support and access to this beautiful venue. We're excited that Supervisor... We're excited that Supervisor Michael Antonovich is joining us today. We also would like to thank Second District Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas, who has generously provided support to the Operation Graduation Committee throughout the year. On behalf of my classmates, I would like to thank Mr. Sidney Ragland of the San Francisco Conservatory of Music for a beautiful rendition of the national anthem. Also deserving our gratitude are LACO Principal Roberto Perez and teacher Rudy Spivery, who will serve as our ceremony readers this afternoon. You'll hear them later in the program announcing our names as we procession. And let's give a round of applause to our wonderful offstage announcer and teacher, Mr. Don Bailey. We also want to thank the Operation Graduation Steering Committee and subcommittee members of the countless hours they have dedicated to making this ceremony a truly special occasion. Some are backstage working. But those of you in the audience, will you please stand and be acknowledged? <laughs> and we saved the best for last. The many volunteers who have given their personal time today to making this event a success. They include current and former employees of the Office of Education and Probation Department, as well as individuals from the business and local community. Let's give these folks a round of applause as they join us on stage. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you both. <laughs> My name is Noah Trice, and I am honored to introduce our next speaker. He is the top education leader in the nation's most populous and diverse county. Since being named Los Angeles County Superintendent of Schools in 2011, this gentleman has been dedicated to ensuring that young people, like those here today, receive the best education possible. And we, the class of 2015, are very grateful for his dedication. Please join me in welcoming LACO Superintendent Dr. Arturo Delgado. Thank you, Noah. And honored guests, family members, and of course, our graduates. Good afternoon. Welcome. Isn't this a great occasion? Yeah. 
It's really actually my pleasure and honor to be here. Uh, this is our payoff day. Every year when we see our graduates come through the stage, it's really the most gratifying part of our year. And so we're just glad to welcome all of you to our annual Operation Graduation Commencement Ceremony. Now I'd like to recognize members of the Operation Graduation Steering Committee, LACO and probation staff who worked hard behind the scenes all year long to make this a special day for our, our graduates and families. Thank you so much for the work that they've done. I want to thank you for your excellent work and commitment to our students because that's what this is really all about. We also have some very, uh, not that not, you're all very important here. We're all very glad you're here. We have some folks that work tirelessly behind the scenes who are a big part of our educational process and uh, they have contributed in so many ways. I'd like to take an opportunity to, to uh, recognize them and if they would just stand and, and wave to the group. Uh, first of all, from our Los Angeles County Board of Education, our president, Katie Browdy of our Board of Education. Katie is behind me. <laughs> Mr. Douglas Boyd, who's sitting in our audience, stand and be recognized. <laughs> Mr. Alex Johnson, if you could stand. And it's a real pleasure to welcome back our former board member, Riddell Freer. From uh, Supervisor Mike Antonovich's office deputies, Al Citraro, where's Al? I think he's around here somewhere. And Rita Hajimanukian, and uh, those two names were given to me. From deputy, uh, the, the deputies for Supervisor Sheila Kuehl's office, Janitha Hudley Hayes, if you're, in the audience, if you're in the audience. Deputy to Supervisor Mark Lee Thomas, Emily Williams. Emily, are you here? <laughs> Deputy to Supervisor Hilda Solis, Roberto Viramontes. There he is right there, okay. From our Los Angeles County Probation Commission, Clay Hallapeter. We're real happy to see that our 33rd District PTA, R Rosalind Turn Turnball, she's here as well. There she is, okay. And LA County Sup Superior Court, Judge Margaret Henry. Oh, there she's there. Thank you. I would also like to recognize several of our LACO, or Los Angeles County Office of Education, top administrators, Mary, Dr. Mary Leahy, our Director for Student Programs, sitting behind me. And Ms. Kim Hopko, Director of Special Education. I'd like to also introduce some members of our ex Executive Cabinet, Dr. Joseph Ibarra, Barra, Deputy Superintendent. And Dr. Darren McDuffie, Assistant Superintendent, if he's here. Okay. Well, I'm really proud to say that to date, our class of 2015 includes more than 460 young people who are candidates to receive diplomas through our juvenile court schools, alternative and special education programs. That is, I think for, this, for our purposes here, it's one of our largest classes. These candidates uh, may have earned a high school diploma other students have earned their general education development or our GT, GED certificates. Some of them have struggled against incredible odds to achieve academic success. The road to their success has not been an easy one. They courageously traveled an arduous path to today's finish line. We're very proud of them. And we, we have, yes, yeah, okay to give them a round of applause. Just whenever you feel the urge, And I would just like to say as the County Superintendent of Schools to all of you who are in the audience tonight, to this afternoon, we're not giving them the, uh, their diplomas or certificates. We're not just giving them. They've earned them. We've held them to the highest accountable, provided the academic social support. They've earned these things. So I want to congratulate all of our candidates. Then there's another group of people here that I'd like to all, uh, always like to recognize, and that is our wonderful teachers who have done a wonderful job in all that the work that they've done. Thank you so much, teachers, for those in the audience, for all your hard work. 
you haven't skimped on a wonderful education for these kids, and you've coached them through them, you've pushed them, you've encouraged them. Thank you so much for all the work that you've done. These exceptional people represent hundreds of individuals who are making a difference in the lives of our students every day. Every day. These include not only our teachers, but also our probation officers, administrators, counselors, and many other staff members. So thank you for all the work that they've done. Their dedicated dedication and guidance have helped bring these young people to this very day. So we're very happy for the work that they've done. And now with all the teachers, principals, school staff, and probation officers, can you stand just to take a bow? Take a stand. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. And so now, audience, I want you to take a look around to your neighbor to the left, to the right. We want to acknowledge our parents, our friends, our relatives, all of you who are here today. I will tell you that the greatest joy being on stage is to watch your joy as you see your graduate come to the stage and the joy that you have in that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that all of you are proud of your graduates and graduates. You should be proud of yourselves. You have sh you've shown the world and shown yourselves what you can do. Your being here today is living proof of your potential and all that you can accomplish. And so you become the evidence that hard work really pays off. We are all extremely proud of you. And most important, you have given yourselves a priceless gift, the belief in your ability to achieve academic success and turn your lives around, looking forward to a great future. Thank you again, and congratulations to all of you. So we have a special guest here that I, it's my privilege to introduce a distinguished public official who is, was elected to serve the people of Los Angeles County as a member of the Board of Supervisors in 1980. His more than three, three decades of service on the board have been characterized by a commitment to bettering the lives of foster children, seniors, and veterans. He is also a co-founder and generous benefactor of our Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. Please join me in welcoming Supervisor Michael Antonovich. Thank you, Dr. Delgado. Let me first congratulate our graduates behind me who are going to be receiving their degree. But let me also thank Dr. Delgado, LACO, the teachers in the classroom, the probation department, Jerry Powers, the members of the probation department, and the volunteers who have helped with making this possible this evening. So congratulate all of those individuals. <clears throat> This, this is a very unique building, as many of you know. It's world famous, and so the people who are graduating today will be able to tell their children and children that they were able to graduate in the first class facility in Los Angeles County that's known worldwide, the Disney Concert Hall. <clears throat> One of the great opportunities in our country, a great country, we believe in a second chance. We believe in hard work. We believe in strong families. Our graduates today had a second chance, and they know that through education, they're going to be able to open up many, many more doors of opportunity so that they'll be the successful leaders in this county, in this state, and this nation tomorrow. But it's because of the education they're receiving today and will continue with that education tomorrow. So let's encourage them to go on for higher education. I grew up in South Central Los Angeles in uh, my junior high school, Edison Junior High School. It was named after a very famous scientist, very famous. But he failed 999 times before he was able to get the light bulb to work. 999 times he failed. Had he stopped before reaching that 1,000th experiment, 
He would have been a failure through life, but it wasn't that way because he had perseverance and he continued. There's another famous man who went to Harvard Business School. Everybody says you have to go to Harvard because you're going to learn this wonderful education. He had an idea. He turned it in. This was his master's thesis. The teacher gave him a C minus and said it was a loser. He didn't take that C minus as his final grade. He didn't take the stigma of being a loser as a loser in life. He went back and made that concept work. And today that concept is Federal Express, and that was Mr. Smith, Federal Express, a winning operation of delivering goods and services all around the world. So we want to tell our young people, you will have failures in life, but the difference between a winner and a loser, you get up after being knocked down, and the young men and women behind me have gotten up, and we're going to encourage them to continue. Thank you very much. Let's give another round of applause to uh, the uh, supervisor, Michael Antonovich. Please welcome to the stage now, Sereni Galindo. Hello, my name is Sereni Galindo, and it is my privilege to introduce our next speaker who leads the largest probation department in the country. As a chief probation officer of Los Angeles County, this gentleman brings more than 30 years of dedicated service and experience. This has been instrumental as a probation department with more than 6,000 employees embarks on a historic era in criminal justice, policy and reform. Let's welcome to the stage, Los Angeles County's Chief Probation Officer, Mr. Jerry Powers. Good evening. It certainly is my privilege to be here today. Um, what an exceptional group of students, young men and women, that I have behind me. I had a chance uh, before the ceremony started to go in the back and mill around and uh, I saw a lot of excited young men and women back there. There were some parents back there. I'm not sure who was more excited, the young men and women or the not so young men and women who were with them. <clears throat> I need to say thank you. I need to say thank you to the parents the grandparents, the uncles, the aunts, the cousins, the neighbors, the teachers, the probation officers, all of you who touched these men and women's lives and got them to where they are today. <clears throat> Mayor Antonovich talked about perseverance and getting back up when you get knocked down. I'm pretty confident that each and every one of these students back here has been knocked down more than once. And I'm also confident that each of you had a role in picking them back up, giving them a hand, and getting them back on their feet and back in the class, and so that they were able to get here today. So on behalf of myself, the probation department, I want to say thank you to all of you uh, for making this day possible. Graduates, I have two things for you, two challenges. First, I want to say job well done, but you're not done. Please, please, and I think I speak for everybody in the audience, don't let this be the end of your educational chapter. I'll let you know a little secret. I was the first individual in my family to graduate high school. If that's the case for you, you could be here 
in 25 years or so. Keep it up. My second challenge to you is pay it back. You have a debt. You may not realize it yet, but you have a debt. These individuals out here helped you. When you make it, whatever it is that you make, when you make it, when you become a doctor, a lawyer, a probation officer, a teacher, a social worker, a construction worker, I don't care what it is, when you make it, you find that person who was you and you give them that hand up so they can get on their feet and you put them back in here. That's how we make a healthy community, is we take care of each other, we put our hand out, we grab another hand, and we lift each other up. Please remember that. If you do that, you will have paid back a tremendous, a tremendous debt to your community, and you will make these folks out here twice as proud as they are today. Being a probation officer, and I know we have probation officers out here and we have some back, back behind the stage as well, this is our payday right here. And as a parent, I'm sure it's your payday as well. We're pleased to be here, we're pleased to play, to, to play just a little role in this. And as I said, on behalf of everybody from the probation department, congratulations to all of you. Be safe and make sure that this isn't the last chapter of this educational story for these guys. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Powers. And now, let's welcome back to the stage Mr. Sidney Ragland. This 
day or never, I sit forever with the God. When I look back, I will always recall moment for moment. This was the moment, the greatest moment. Welcome to the stage, Kaylon Laura and Haley Hathaway. Hi, my name is Kaylon Laura, and along with my classmate Haley Hathaway, I am honored to recognize our Teacher of the Year. As caring and enthusiastic individuals, teachers play the most important role in our education. It has been said that there are two things we get from our parents and teachers, roots and wings. We students are deeply grateful to all the teachers who from the first day of school believed in us, pushed us to be the best we can be, and gave us the wings to soar and become graduates of the class of 2015. The Los Angeles County Office of Education's Teacher of the Year has dedicated his career to serving LACO's juvenile court students. You can find him at Camp Miller where he is committed to helping students gain hands-on skills in construction and other trades. In honor of all great teachers who have crossed our paths, it is my privilege to recognize one of the best. The Los Angeles County Office of Education's Teacher of the Year, Mr. Roger Espinoza. On behalf of the class of 2015, we are pleased to present you with a small gift as a token of our appreciation. Let's hear it again for Roger Espinoza. That's unbelievable, all these distinguished guests and honorees and our, and our students behind us. That's unbelievable to me. Thank you very much. Angel, it's my privilege to recognize our honor students. These are students who have maintained a 3.0 GPA or better and have served as academic leaders in their classes. They are seated on the stage with gold cords. Would you honor the students? Please stand so we can give you a round of applause for your achievements. I'm also proud to announce the winner of the Sophia Waugh Scholarship. This two-year scholarship was created to assist students with completing their post-secondary educational goals. The lucky recipient of the $1,250 per year scholarship to help defray the cost with tuition, books, and supplies. The winner is the graduate of the Phoenix Academy class of 2015, valedictorian. Let's congratulate and welcome to the podium, Ms. Kennedy Wright.
I was not expecting that. Thank you so much. What did I just win? Your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living in the result of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinion drown your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to be. Everything else is secondary. The man who said that is described as a charismatic and design-driven pioneer of the personal computer revolution. revolution. He has changed the landscape of our entire world. His name is Steve Jobs, co-founder and CEO of Apple. Good afternoon, or evening, friends, family, and fellow graduates. I'm Kennedy Wright, and it's an honor to be standing here in front of you today as your class valedictorian. Steve Jobs' quote spoke to me because for so much of my life, I let others influence the decisions I made. It wasn't until I let go of this habit completely that I found I progressed much further. About 12 years ago, we started our journeys in education. Our responsibilities consisted of sharing with others and making it to the bathroom on time. Sixth grade came around and they introduced us to earth science and the variable N. They told us, ask questions now because this will be much harder in high school. They were right. I should have asked more questions. Shortly after, we moved on to high school. At that point, every move we would make counted towards our future. Suddenly, we had much to, dis to consider. Which path will you take? Are you going to choose your friends wisely? What do you want in life? At that time, high school felt like the beginning of the rest of our lives. Graduation was getting closer and life was getting real. However, now that I'm standing here before you on the day of the graduation, I know now that this is the beginning of our lives, right here. However, we have all accomplished the very thing that we have been preparing for our entire lives as students. We have made so many advances in our lives as individuals. Not only that, but take a look at the world that has grown around us. We have witnessed unthinkable accomplishments in education, technology, medicine, social media, and so much more. We currently have our first African-American president in office and the first female set to run in the next election. Yep. The cure to cancer could be standing here today wearing a cap and gown. I look around today at each and every one of your faces and am hopeful that we will pursue our visions and careers. In the past, I made sure to keep art and music in my life. That's what interests me, it's what inspires me. So um, this fall, I'll be attending Marymount California University. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Um, I will be majoring in film and TV production with a focus on screenwriting as I let my heart and intuition be the guide. My hope for all of us, the graduating class of 2015, is that we don't let the noise of others' opinion drown our inner voice. Follow your heart and intuition, because I know it works. Thank you. At this time, I would like to acknowledge all of LACO teachers and school staff. It takes an incredible amount of patience, knowledge, and dedication to pull off what you guys do. Just know that by any means, it doesn't go unrecognized. I, specific I specifically want to thank Phoenix Academy. Hey. <laughs> That's right. With the help of my teachers and counselors, I graduated high school with a 3.2 GPA, and I got accepted into a great university. So thank you guys. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my mom and dad. 
They've given me a lot of positive guidance over the years. And I'm, they've always pushed me to do my absolute best. I love you guys, thank you. And of course, thank you fellow graduates for allowing me to speak on your behalf. Thank you once again, friends and family. I'm sure you're all very proud. Congratulations, class of 2015. We did it. Thank you. Let's have another round of applause for the inspiring Kennedy Wright. One final reminder, tonight's ceremony is being filmed by the Los Angeles County Office of Education. You will receive information in the mail regarding how to obtain a copy of the DVD in the coming weeks. And now, we get to the part of the program that everyone's been waiting for. The Diplomas! To begin the ceremony, please welcome the President of the Los Angeles County Board of Education, Ms. Katie Browdy. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Los Angeles County Board of Education, I would like to extend my congratulations to the class of 2015. One more round of applause, folks. They did it. Your diplomas and certificates are awarded by the Board of Education, the Los Angeles County Office of Education, and the divisions of, of student programs and special education, education. The diplomas state that each student has completed a course of study in accordance with the requirements of the State Board of Education and the Los Angeles County Board of Education. And now I would like to invite the following people to join me in, re in a receiving line to congratulate our graduates. Superintendent Delgado, Chief Powers, Dr. Leahy, and Ms. Hopko. Students, please come forward as your names are called. Benjamin Juarez. Jose Barco. Ryan Compion. Liliana Rivera. Brian Nitro. Edina Way. Kiana Price. Christopher Norwood. Jennifer Garcia. Erica Martinez. Andy Medina. Ruben Ortega. Paris Patton. Alberto Martinez. 
Eunice Moore. Christian Vargas. Mario Reveles. Luis Mora. Veronica Sanchez. Sasha Ingleton. Anthony Galindo. Alan Mesa Dominguez. Paula Lozado. Diana Crisol. Jessica Esparza. Lynette Sandoval. Annika Fenton. Edgar Espinosa. John Talico. Jose Espinosa. Pablo Garcia. James Amayo. Lydia Guerrero. Gabriela Aranda. Kenny Cardenas. Edward Mora. Melanie Alleman. Justin Green. Nicole Nicholson. Andrea Villalobos. Jennifer Cordova. Brian Huerta. Edgar Vega. Brynell Verdin. Derek Miner. Devon Ming. Justin Cox. Ernesto Rodriguez. Timothy Cabala. Hoser Sayas. Andrea Olmos. Destiny Yanes. Iraya Carrillo. Alexis Lomeli. Adam Del Real. Gregory Calderon. Brenton Hammerstrong. Eddie Inojos. Mario Ramirez. Hector Ibarra. Isabel Medina. Cassandra Talavera. Monica Medrano. Kia Wharton. Dion Boy. Tiffany Avila.
steady growth. Ariana Valles. Harvest Tuya. Angel Ramirez. Edward Ruiz. Robert Campos. Brian Buenrostro. Jay McCoy. Rafael Barrera. Victor Rizzo. Jonathan Morales. Brian Ariola. Maria Ramirez. Randall Rivas. Ronald Lopez. Christopher Lizama. Anthony Herrera. Denelson Rivas. Destiny Jones. Yesenia Castillo. Joshua Shaw. Marcel Foreman. Hazel Ramirez. Oscar Rico, Marlene Armas, Jennifer Malumbres, Rosa Martinez, Christopher Hobbs, Cameron Bennett. Jonathan Johnson, Tyree Pitts, Stephania Portillo, Nico Nuno, Desiree Barraza, Jesus Herrera. Siamara Wong, Diana Leon De Jesus, Ladeja Anderson, Demont Robinson, Alexis Gregoza, Dairo. Alfaro, Ivan Alatore, Osvaldo Garcia, Lilian Olivan Gomez, Alvaro Valenzuela, Cristo Perez. Omar Cardenas, Angel Higareda, Alexis Ruiz, Adrian Galvez, Carrie Kaiser. Michelle Alisa Razaz. <laughs> Stephanie Garcia. 
April Gonzalez. Alicia Garcia. Alexis Medina. Cristo Ramirez. Brenna Mena. Maria Sandoval. Ashley Johnson. Keisha Lay Sapo. Doris Salcedo Vasquez. Evelyn Zuniga. Emily Paco. Kaisha Chavalisan. Kaisha Chavalisan. Darius Herbert. Oscar Ordonez. Joseph Ramos. Maria Satango. Alondra Para. Alice, Alisa, Alisa, Alisa Ramirez. Lady Cruz. David Gomez. Jordan Butler. Gabriel Fernandez. Kyle Williams. Cheyenne. Galloway, Vanessa Soto, Kevin Santana, Stephanie Cabrera, Brian Echevarria, Kevin Sanchez, Ismael. Velasco, Velasco Zavala, Daniel Martinez, Ilaseo Burgos, Jacqueline Escobar Merida, Catalina Palacios. Angie C. Puentes. Jacqueline Merida Lobos. Menio Montelengo. Jose Zavala. Ricardo Shavira. Isaac Gomez. Israel Hernandez. Jeffrey Alvarado Santos. Jesus Zarate. Christina Dilworth. Yara Torres. Angeles Lira Gonzalez. Brianda Hernandez. Yesenia Lira. Nicolás Garcia. Brian Keys. 
Anisha Williams. Vanisha Williams. Monica Maldonado. Justin Literate. Eduardo Alvaran. Eduardo Mendoza. Angel Espinosa. Nicolás Hernández. Brian Aquino. Dwayne Nighton. Jason Mullen. Jonathan Rivas. Fernando Lopez. David Piñeda. Gianna Virginia Verduzco. Ariana Amore. Lauren Grundy. Victor Gudino. Samache Bowen. Marcos Lorenzo. John Elwell. Ronnie Dunka. Carnell Snell. Emmanuel Porter. Ty Whitaker. Lawrence Hodge. Delmar Rose. Alex Castrejon. Luis Bayote. David Ortega. Valentin Nolan. Reynard Brooks. Arthur Lewis. Joseph Gonzalez. Isaac Cornejo. Alonso Armenta. Frank Sotelo. Carry on Maxby Williams. Chris Matthew. Joseph Dumas. Dimitri Rubile. Adan Barragon. John Gonzalez. Valentino Lopez. Sergio Carrillo. Luis Gutierrez. Joshua Preston. Gilbert Rodriguez. Joseph Navarro. Brian Torres. Janae Tobin. Jordan Leaf. Abigail Monray. Jonathan Savala. 
Angel Ruiz. Thomas Goff. Lisbeth Castillo. Ruth Martinez. Gloria Galindo and Sireni Galindo. Kevin. Kevin Lara. Haley Hathaway. Yolanda Gutierrez. Milan Bradley. Kennedy Wright. Angel Cruz. Noah Trice. Last but not least, Mr. Christopher Carter! Okay. By the authority vested in me, I certify to you that the students receiving diplomas have satisfied the requirements of the State of California and the Los Angeles County Board of Education. I am proud to present to you, Ms. Browdy and Board of Education, the class of 2015. Congratulations to all of our 2015 graduates. Give them one more rousing round of applause. 